Well, pictures have aired of a meeting between the former Prime Minister Paul Keating and China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi on Chinese state TV. According to the Chinese broadcaster CCTV, Mr Keating said China does not pose a threat to other countries and was contributing to regional peace and stability. More than a few people would argue with that. Well, Kenny Heatley is live for us in Sydney this morning. So what else did the two discuss, Kenny? Uh, but Pete, the meeting took place at the Chinese consulate here in Sydney. Lasted about 65 minutes and pictures that have aired on Chinese state media show uh, Wang Yi placing his arm around the former Prime Minister with Wang Yi telling Paul Keating that he was very pleased to be meeting with him. He actually called Paul Keating a world-renowned statesman. They sat in large armchairs in a decorated room. Uh, Mr Keating said after the meeting that he was very pleased uh, it was a very pleasant and engaging meeting and said Mr Wang told him the world will still benefit from China's ability to supply high quality, relatively low price goods which will help underwrite higher living standards in the West and other regions in the world with the former Prime Minister also emphasising the importance of China for Australia's economy. But probably the comment that will raise the most eyebrows, according to Chinese media, Paul Keating told Wang Yi that China is contributing to regional peace and stability. Now that's after Foreign Minister Penny Wong held frank discussions uh, with her Chinese counterpart the day before where she raised China's aggressions in the South China Sea. Here's a little bit more of Wang Yi speaking in that meeting with Paul Keating yesterday. Our bilateral relationship has returned to the decision of the Labour Party. Time is aimed at increasing communication, building to the future and comprehensive improvement of our bilateral relations. Now, the meeting between China's foreign minister and Paul Keating has, has caused several days of controversy. It forced Penny Wong to issue a statement saying that Paul Keating does not speak for the government nor Australia. The opposition has labelled the meeting as a calculated humiliation of the government. Now, uh, Wang Yi also met New mm. South Wales Premier Chris Minns here at New South Wales Parliament yesterday. His motorcade was met with protesters uh, as he arrived here. Uh, New South Wales Premier Chris Minns told Mr Wang, New South Wales is committed to fostering a productive and stable relationship with China. Wang Yi uh, was due to fly out of the country last night. I mm, wonder if they spoke about the Uyghurs yesterday. I think not. Kenny, thank you.